Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Black Jack and Hookers in Europe Universal Store. So, yeah, it's just English Pirates. Uh, this is getting nerfed, by the way. Um, I'm not sure when they, the patch is going to be fixed, but um, I complained about it to Wiz, and I was like, Wiz, this is bullshit, basically. And he's like, hey, I'm only working on EU4 for one more day. It's the last day I'm working on EU4, and I'm going off, going off to work on Stellaris and other secret, top secret -y projects and stuff. And so I said, well, can you fix piracy? Because it's BS. And he said, yeah, it is pretty kind of crazy, isn't it? Um, so I don't know exactly what the changes are. I think he told me, roughly, this is just, just speculation, really, that the Pirate of Dust penalty is going to cap out at 100 points, and it's going to recover, like, at 4 or 5 per year default instead of 2. So um, this is really unfortunate, because, like, I think I could actually secure an alliance with England right now after having been in that BS union under Austria. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this royal marriage. They have 69 reasons to royal marry us. King James the First Lancaster wants to get some of this. So we're going to do that to uh, just maybe prevent them from flipping on us and not being friendly. And maybe eventually uh, we can, I don't know, it'll make it difficult for them to, you know, dislike us. Regrettably, we have lost the trade production CB, so they stopped embargoing us. Or they maybe they stopped, stopped pir pir yeah, words, pirating us. Hmm. Aragon has rivaled France. Austria's rivaled England. So we can't be friends with Austria. It's fine. Oh my god, everyone and their brother is changing their rivals. Holy crap. Don't ever unload the game, basically, is what that comes down to. Right, um, and this is my second play session, by the way. So, this was really annoying, the fact that we lost the ability to, uh, to beat Portugal to this. I blame it entirely on, uh, reasons and things. Also, I took the mission to conquer land from Tlemcen. We do have the admin points to do that right now. It's just a matter of getting our troops down here and uh, squishing the silly Muslims and going from there. So, yeah, I think there's really no reason to not just do this right now, right? So let's go ahead and uh, park some troops down here. We'll declare war. We will not co-belligerent Tlemcen because we don't want them to pull in uh, the Mamluks. Not particularly scared of the Mamluks, but, you know... We have once again gained the Trade Protection CB against the English. Uh, they would actually accept an alliance offer, except that we don't like them enough. See, this is where this negative 200 penalty is just kind of nonsense, isn't it? I mean, shouldn't I be able to say, hey, uh, I think that we should be allies? Royal Marriage Offer from Portugal? Uh, our legitimacy is complete garbage. Uh, I mean, I guess. No, I'm going to say no. Let me go ahead and say no. No. Having some issues with our estates. A little, little bit of loyalty here if we were to sacrifice some prestige. This would put them above 80% uh, influence, however. So that would be no good. Other than that, we can't do much to regain our loyalty there. Send an emissary to the Pope. Again, that would put us above 80%. Seems like a bad idea. Request additional levies. You know, at this point, if you're pissing them off, you might as well piss them off more, right? No, no, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. Uh, yeah, no, I think we just pretty much just have to wait for these things to come back. Very low legitimacy is really the big penalty here. Um, and then other than that, I, I don't remember what I did to the burgers. I probably took all their fun stuff. I took their toys, and I said, you can't have anything nice. And uh, they were like, damn it, we don't like you. So yeah, we're going to do this mission simply so that we get the yearly prestige modifier. Um, I seem to recall reading that... Uh, Personal unions no longer break just on having negative prestige. That was in the patch notes. I have not yet experienced that yet, uh, but I'd like to. So yeah, if we declare on on Tlemcen, then we end up having to fight these guys. Now, okay, a couple videos ago, somebody had commented that I, I complained that I thought prepare for war was stupid. Um, but that's only because I've never used it. And now I can imagine a situation where, uh, if you're afraid that your ally is going to declare the same war you want to w declare, and you have spare favors, you could use this to, to basically, you know, cock block them. Um, and that on its own is more valuable than the increased likelihood of them joining offensive calls. It's more like a, hey, you're not allowed to declare any wars for 12 months because I'm going to declare war soon. So the problem is we need an actual CB on Morocco, um, and they stopped, stopped doing stuff. Um, they did... You know, Portugal lost all of their land. We don't want to take the land that they have cores on because that will definitely piss them off. 
And eventually we do want to beat them up, but, um, you know, I think we actually just gra grab a claim on Garb. And then we work our way down to, uh, to Tafiel Alt, so that we can get the gold mine. Um, if we were to fabricate on Dukala, then we could just take Tadla and Tafiel Alt in the war as well, even without the CB, and just be like, well... This land is spectacular. Looking at like 270 points to core. Plus another 75. Plus whatever this is gonna cost, which is 90. So about 300. I mean we could we could afford it, probably. And the thing is about the aggressive expansion, it doesn't even matter, really. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna take these three plus that. Dukala. In that, uh, hmm. If we did that, what am I thinking? There's some reason why I'm thinking this might be a bad idea. I can't remember what it is now. Oh well, surely it's a great idea in that case. <laughs> why do I have force limits and stuff? Right up to the force limit. God, it sucked so bad being in a union. Or being underneath it. Oh right, did we rival, did we rival him? We didn't, we should, they rivaled me. Try again. Alright, so we rivaled Morocco. We will also rival France. We will stop the fabrication because we got caught. And it would take forever. Now that they are our rival, it should be much, much faster. We do need to check on the Game of Thrones. Bohemia has no heir, nor does Saxony. Both are pretty good. Uh... That's Saxony, that's Brandenburg. Brandenburg has an air now. It's 44. And he has royal marriages with Austria and Hesse. A noble from von Habsburg succeeds to the throne. So the reason why is because of the royal marriages that Austria, sorry, that Bohemia has. Austria has, I think. I can't recall now. Is it just primarily prestige, or is it also development? I think it's there's a development factor in there, too. Um, and I think Austria is bigger than we are. No, uh, actually, we have an advantage in development. So, there's a pretty good chance, maybe? Interesting that you would accept an alliance with me. That would definitely preclude us from getting any kind, anything going with, uh, with you. They're still pirating me. They're, I mean, they're, they're just still pirating me. There's nothing I can do to make that penalty go away. I can't send them a gift. How else can I make me like them? You give me military access? Maybe. Let's try it. They'll say yes, and that puts me at negative 25. Can I, can I please? <laughs> Could you please let me do what I want to do, game? Oh, that's funny. Why be allied with England? I don't know. Just because we can. Hmm. We are over the uh, the leader limit. Hey, I want to know what you guys think. I've been thinking about putting together a uh, like a, a mod pack. I, I don't remember how I was talking to this about, but um, I want to maybe try this. Do do a mod pack and just call it like uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have to come up with a title for it. But basically, what it would be is um, this would be instead of just like keyboard shortcuts and stuff like. Uh, you know, utility and um, interface adjustments, it would actually be gameplay changes where we would just put together a mod and practice changing stuff. You know, like, I don't know, um, change the number of dice in the in the, in the the combat rolls, or remove the monarch point cap, or um, increase the, in, the uh, attrition cap. You know, like, just change parts of the game, play with it, and see how it goes. Um, just to see if it changes things. I mean, having an alliance with Austria would be nice. All right, what do we got? Uh, no, you're not going to privateer. You're going to go explore nowhere. I guess you're just going to hang out there for now. So it's kind of annoying that there's nowhere else that we can explore, and we've got these two fantastic explorers. What are we at? Three? No, two. Two out of one right now. Uh, you need Diplotech 9. 
be able to do that. Well, that's that's a little ways away. Uh, for now, I suppose you guys can help protect trade in the Sevilla node. Alright, let's check and see how this is looking with England now. Oh my god, we can actually do it, despite the negative 25 opinion. Holy crap. Ottomans no longer considers Poland to be a rival. They've rivaled Austria. Uh, we can now no longer secure an, uh, an alliance here. Seal's ally to Austrian rival England. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. I think that having all of the naval stuff, like, you know, we already won a war against Austria because they couldn't get to us, so. I don't know how attempt, like, this is probably not going to last. I'm just hoping they stop privateering me. That would be a good start, England, just so you know. Top off relations up there. Uh, Bohemia, got an air. He's, uh, zero. Oh, he's, he's, uh, yeah, okay. So he's Potobrad. Very well. I need that claim on Morocco, please. Our ships should be fully repaired. We only have three heavies. Huh. Somehow I had assumed we would have more heavies than that by now. Fort maintenance, colonial maintenance, interest, advisors, army maintenance. We're at full maintenance. We don't really need to be right at this moment. Until we get the claim. Let's do that. Try to make a little bit more money. Do, do, do. A little bit of inflation. Really kind of pissed off that I lost my, uh... My colony as well. Because I think we were already up to over 200... Maybe 250 people. Not been a great start. Lots of unlucky things have happened. Um, the fact that, uh... We have the wrong gender people here. Colonial enthusiasm is pretty awesome. Just getting that randomly. Sweet. Uh, all right, so yeah, okay, someone commented a few videos back, King Juan is maybe pretty clear that it's a man. Hey, you never know. Juan could totally be a uh, transgender. I mean, I don't know. Alfonso, I'm pretty sure, is a man. And Sunk, I assume, is a man. But it's hard to say when it's, it doesn't say, like, prince, does it? It just says, you know... Whatever. Clergy estate, their influence is now 69%. And the nobility now has 59%. Okay, very well. So, they're still kind of pissy. This means that if we wanted to, we could seek support among the clergy. Ah, no, that give them... Well, it's only 10 influence. We could actually do that. Get them about 60%. Get the extra bonus. Extra yearly papal influence. That would be quite nice. Or we could just send an, uh, an emissary to the Pope. Let's see, uh, this gives you directly 10 papal influence, this gives you effectively one yearly papal influence. The modifier lasts for how long? Until 98, so this is 20 years. Loyalty is not going to stay that high, I mean it probably gives you more, um, but it's also, hmm, comes with no cost, you don't lose prestige and you don't lose legitimacy, and we are really low on legitimacy these days. Speaking of uh, this thing, uh, we do have the ability to like bless ruler, do some of this other stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking. I think we do this one. We just send an emissary. We take our 89 papal influence, and what would we spend it on? If we had a hundred right now, what would I want to do? I feel like the free stability is not really directly worth it right now. The yearly legitimacy, it seems nice, but just, it's 20 year modifier of yearly legitimacy plus one. So you basically gain 20 legitimacy over a huge, huge long period of time. And when we die, right now, we have a strong claim anyway, so we're going to go right up to like 80 legitimacy in the first place. So it's like, what's the point? Uh, I think just more national tax modifier is probably going to pay for itself. That's where the vast majority of our income comes from. I think it's well worth it. The amount of money that's going to make us over 20 years is going to be pretty pretty darn significant. Firm, bron bronze cannons. Herald from Lithuania. Okay, 75% on our claim. Brought to take tech 7, which gives us a 2 tech advantage over Morocco, 1 tech advantage over Tlemcen. We also have to consider that Morocco is going to pull in Togurt, the yogurt of Africa. Oh, let's see. I think we top off relations with uh, Austria. You never know. They're another person that could help us against France. 
if France becomes a problem. Okay, so something happened up here. Still have all the unions. It seems like the union that Denmark has over Sweden is much more stable now. Uh, usually Sweden breaks free, like, right away. But we've already been playing for 34 years, and they're still just hanging out underneath Denmark. That's very strange. Uh, Harold from Hungary. They've re-elected Austria. Got our claim. Let's wait a couple days, get our guy home. Austria still has their union over Hungary. I think we declare on Morocco. We do not need to co-belligerent anyone. We also didn't need to call anyone in. Waiting to the first of the month so we get our Moraltic. Yeah, and I think we just uh, we just declare and we just go for this land on our own. We're gonna take one, two, three, plus that one. That seems pretty good to me. Uh, so nine in the front row. Let's uh, let's manually put together an army. It's a shame that we don't actually have any cannons yet. So do nine plus all the cav. And our fearless leader will lead. We'll go one day. One day. Thank you. Move there. Okay, now I'm assuming that uh, Morocco is going to come in from somewhere over here and maybe try to engage over here, but we got Highlands. So we should have a nice clean engagement here, nice, nice zero roll. Of course they rolled a zero as well, so that should be fine. 16 stack for Morocco. We've got a huge tactics advantage. Uh, we'll take the Obscurantism. Nice stack wipe, excellent. We'll get our ships in a blockade position. Uh, Togert is also probably going to cause some issues for us over there. Why don't we uh, actually back off from this for now? Get a renew alone. Apparently, he thought that his ship should come out to fight. It's kind of strange. Okay, we're not going to worry about looting just yet. I want to just make sure that our armies are safe. Over here against Togert, who's on Tech 5, by the way. I like our nice yellow color, makes it very easy to see what we're doing. We pile everyone over here and we engage Togert. Uh, it'd be great if we could get another leader. That's a coastal fort. I don't think he's going to have any chance. Our tactics advantage should make it so that he has a very difficult time actually succeeding in his siege. He's got uh, 32 day siege sticks. We'll engage with six. And no leader. Close enough. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here, um, but this war should go very smoothly, I think. Uh, meanwhile, we are defending down here. Uh, Portugal's probably going to finish their colony. They already did. That's unfortunate. Um, and there's, like, not a lot of land to be seen. So, all right. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.